All right, so just a little bit of theory here to go with some of the integration we've already done. Uh, now, I just want to go through this because there are a couple of things that I glossed over in that last video, uh, which is how you kind of do it in practice, but I do want to show you some sort of formal notation for what I was just talking about. So here's the first little bit of theory. This says that the integral of a function plus a function is equal to the integral of the first function plus the integral of the second function. Uh, now, I did that in the previous video, I just didn't really talk about doing it that way. For example, the integral of 2x plus x cubed on 3 with respect to x. Now, we can treat 2x as f of x, and we can treat x cubed on 3 as g of x. And our little formula here says that the integral of that whole thing, which is the function plus a function, is equal to the integral of uh, that thing, 2x, plus the integral of that thing. Uh, and when we do that, we'll get the same answer no matter how we sort of work it. Uh, the integral of 2x is uh, x squared uh, 2 over 2, and the 2's cancel out, so just x squared. And the integral of uh, this bit here is equal uh, to x to the 4 divided by um, 3 times 4, which is 12. And then there's a plus c on the end. Now, uh, this bit here, if I do it the other way, I get the integral of 2x, which is uh, x squared, uh, and the integral of x cubed on 12, which I just told you, um, is uh, x to the 4 over 12. Now, rightly, there's an integral of this, which is plus c, um, and there's an integral of this, which is plus c, but because they're arbitrary constants, we can kind of smush them together to make some other new arbitrary constant, so we don't need to have two of them. Alright, so what are, you, what are you taking away from this? The integral of a function plus a function is equal to the integral of the first function plus the integral of the second function. And that's sort of how it plays out. If you're trying to find the integral of that, it's just the integral of that plus the integral of that. Uh, probably more important is this next little formula I'm going to show you. The integral of k times f of x with respect to x is equal to k times the integral of f of x with respect to x. It just means that if we've got our function being multiplied by something, we can take that something out of the integral and work out the integral separately. This gets really useful later on. I'll show you how it plays out. So if I'm doing the integral of 3x squared with respect to x, in the previous video I said, okay, how do we do that? Well, we're just going to say increase the power by 1 and then divide by the new power and our answer is going to be uh, just x cubed because the 3s will cancel out. Now, we can rewrite that as 3 times the integral of uh, x squared with respect to x. Now that's 3 times whatever the integral of x squared is, which is uh, x cubed over 3. Uh, and then the same thing happens. We end up at x cubed. Uh, now obviously this example and this example are very, very easy. When we start working on some other stuff, being able to take out the, um, the multiplier there is going to be so, so, so important. But for now, I just want to show it to you so you understand what's happening there when I'm finding the integral. Um, it, it can be done in two ways. All right, that's just a little bit of theory for integration. There's two ideas. I've drawn the first one and the second one. They're both up in blue. Make sure you write them both down and understand what's going on. And of course, because you're watching me very closely, you will know that I forgot to put plus c's in, and that is a big mistake. All right, that's integration, just a little bit of theory.